Hi guys, and thanks for tuning in. Now, I s I'm sure a lot of you have been playing Medal of Honor Warfighter the past uh, week or so. I know I have. And I've come across something that maybe a few of you uh, have as well, and it seems to have some mouse acceleration on it. That's how it feels to me. Battlefield had the same problem, uh, but Battlefield wasn't as bad because it had raw input uh, option in the menu that you could change, um, and that kind of eliminated the mouse acceleration, really. Um, but I've found a way to get rid of it in Medal of Honor. It's worked for me, so I hope it'll work for you guys. Uh, I'm just going to basically show you how to do it. It's also worth noting, though, that I am running the Mark C Windows fix for Windows 7 uh, on my desktop as well to completely get rid of mouse acceleration. Uh, I'd recommend you use it. Uh, it gives you a much truer motion on your mouse, and uh, I'll show you guys how to do that as well in a second. So what you basically want to do is you want to go to your Medal of Honor folder, which is in my documents. For some reason I have two. Uh, it's created a new one when it patched the game for some reason. Uh, but go into your uh, MOHW folder, you want to go into settings, and the file you want is uh, called prof save profile. Now you want to open that up, and what you want to do is you want to open it up with WordPad. And once you've loaded it up, it'll have all these things in here, but you don't need to focus on, on any of them apart from two. Uh, so you want to go down and you want to find gstinput.scheme0sensitivity. You want that one, and you want scheme1sensitivity as well. I'll put them both in the description below. Now these default values are 0 0.5, and what you want to do is you want to change that to 0, 0. So you want to put that down to 0, and that should get rid of the mouse acceleration completely. Now as well, if in-game you're maybe struggling to get accurate sensitivity because of the bar and you want to change it a little bit, but you just can't quite get it right, if you change this setting here, just the mouse sensitivity one, you can do a more precise increase if that's what you want. So if you do that and you save it, that should get rid of the mouse sensitivity in Medal of Honor. It'll also work in Battlefield 3 as well. Uh, you've just got to go to your Battlefield 3 folder instead, settings, and the same file. Now. As I said before, I actually run the Maxi Windows Fix, which completely gets rid of acceleration in Windows. Now, I've put the link in the description if you want to download it. I do recommend you do. If you want to run it, uh, once you've downloaded it, just extract the file. It's only a very small file. And then you want to open it up. And there is a fix for XP, Windows 8, if you're running the new version of Windows 8, and also uh, Windows 7, which I'm going to show you because that's what I'm running. So you go into Windows 7, assuming you haven't altered uh, the scale of your windows, like you can uh, scale your windows uh, like view up, assuming you haven't done that, you just want to do the 100%. So you double click it, you click yes, I want to continue, I don't need to do it because I've already done it, and then you reboot, uh, and then it's applied. If you do want to revert back though at any time, you can do that just with this file here. Now once you've rebooted, and what you just want to do quickly is you want to go to Start, Control Panel, you want to go to Hardware and Sound, Mouse, and then Pointer Options. And what you want to make sure is that Enhanced Pointer Precision is not checked, and you want to make sure that your uh, pointer speed is in the middle checkpoint, so you want it on number 6. That ensures uh, that all the acceleration will be completely removed. So once you've done that, you're good to go and uh, then you will have a much much truer mouse movement and hopefully uh, it'll feel a lot better as well. So I hope you guys uh, have found this useful and I hope it works for you. Check out my other videos, like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.